he was killed on that cross. So they pretty much got buried on that cross because they say he laid there and then they took him down and put him in a tomb and he resurrected in three days. From Friday to Sunday, it's not three days, it's two days. So there's too many inconsistencies. Okay? Too many. It's all too, and then it's too much gory murder. A whole description of nothing but hatred of seven nations of non-white people. Those seven nations are black people. This Bible is telling Jesus' children to murder black people. And they listened. They listened very well. That's the only thing that they've done. They never showed no brotherly love or any of that other shit that they was talking about. Not even to themselves. Because I could show you World War One, World War Two. We're on the World War Three all the time in Greece and freaking. Kosovo, or whatever, in all over Europe, they are all over that battle right now. Okay, so this stuff is not single to just one location. It's worldwide, all over the whole planet. And it's a lot of people out there who want to get upset with me for telling the truth about this. But that's your problem, not mine. All right, that's just how I look at it. That is your problem, not mine. Because I'm going to do what the universe told me to do. And I'm not going to have to do it much longer. Because the universe is letting me know that she's not giving y'all asses all day to make a decision. Some things you should just be smart enough to understand. You know what I mean? That um, you shouldn't be dumb. You should just know. So these guys so love huggy huggy. You know. All that old stupid shit. I got on my bike and left. He was still out there hugging that white guy. They still making love to each other. Him and Jesus and the white guy all out there doing the faggot, faggot stuff. You know, that's what that Christianity is. It's homosexuality. That's all it is. Anytime you got men perpetuating the deceitful evilness of a woman and how she's responsible for all evil being on the earth and then his ass be left lily squeaky clean, that's bullshit. It's all crap. All of it is nothing but a bunch of garbage. And we should all know that. We should all be able to pick ourselves up and get our shit together and stop having to be victimized by that foolish relief that is only designed to create dissension and create wealth extraction from the masses for the churches that never done anything to help anyone. The world poverty is based on the fact that those churches extract money from the neighborhoods and send it all to Europe where that Jehovah bullshit came from Germany that's where that shit come from okay all that shit is all from Europe and it has nothing to do with us black people at all Santa white man from up north <laughs> Jesus same thing white man never no women even Santa his wife got pushed off the picture too they never did anything with Miss Claus you never get hurt her ass never did any, never get any play at all. Just totally kick her to the curb too. So this hatred of the woman is why there's so much homosexuality on the earth and so much crime and so much inconsistency, so much incompletion. So you got men, loving men, want to hug each other and find... A, oh, and he told me that too. I said, so why doesn't the European religion include they female. Why can't that female be a goddess? If she birthed the man and gave birth to him and he's a god, doesn't it only make sense that she should be a goddess? No, oh, ain't no goddess. This is what the black guy tells me. Oh, ain't no goddess. It's just a man. And then this man is a white man. I'm saying, so you trying to sit here and tell me that you can't deify your daughter, you can't deify your mother, you can't deify your auntie, and you can't deify yourself. Because you have given all your deification qualities or power potential to this dead white guy that you don't even see. Are you kidding me? But uh, in, in, in Jesus. See, see, that's why we're never going to get anywhere as a people. Because we are so much dissension because of that damn religion that was given to us by the people that enslaved us. And you dumbass niggas still want to hold on to that. As we all die and get put in that prison. And you watch the women all getting pregnant by Mexicans or white guys. So our race is dying. 
our our whole melanated nationalism, first of all, has been denationalized by this religion because that's what this religion told them to do. Right here. I just read it. I'm not going to read it again, but you guys know. In the book of Deuteronomy, I just read what this religion told them to do to us, and that's just what they've been doing to us. So all you people who still want to be stuck in that, that makes you an accomplice to this evil, which means when these tornadoes blow, they're going to start going off in the melanated neighborhoods to where all the churches are at. You have a church on every damn corner up and down Crenshaw in L.A. Go to Detroit, same thing. Go to Ohio, same thing. But then they're all poverty-stricken neighborhoods and everybody broke ass is running to the store. You barely got some bologna and some bread at home. And you run up in the church giving your three, four dollars to the damn church. And then your children running up and down the street terrorizing, breaking and shit, stealing shit. Because you're not taking care of them. Because you're too busy running the church all the damn time. And you ain't got a man because you're in love with Jesus. So the father of your children, you couldn't see no good in him because you wanted to worship the image of the white man. So that's the reason your relationship didn't work out with him. And so where is he at? He's probably across town with some white lady. Okay. This is what happens all the time. It even happened to me. One of the worst things I ever did is fooled around and got involved with a relationship inside children. And then got to watch everything be destroyed and segregated and not good because of the way the world is with this racism that I just read right here out of this Bible I just read it right when the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land where the Lord goes to possess it and has cast out many nations before thee the blacks the head of these the blacks the Gagashi the blacks the Mordi the blacks the Canaanites the blacks the Perizzi the blacks the Hevitides the blacks the Jebusides Seven nations greater and mightier than thou. Listen what did God tell him. And when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them and utterly destroy them. Now this is what Jehovah is telling the white people to do to the black people in this book. And even after telling you dumbass niggas that you still gonna wind your ass up in that church and continue to support that garbage. That's why when the tornadoes go, they're gonna blow y'all asses to smithereens too. And that's all to it. So I'm saying all this stuff to everyone to let you all know that times are really serious. Things are getting ready to hit the fan. For real though. I mean it. For real. And it's just, you know, to tell you the truth about me, I just don't have the energy or the drive to come out here thinking that I'm going to be utilizing a lot more of my energy to try to persuade someone to do something that's for your own good. You can all look around and see how things are to can. And you all know that when you get your paycheck, it don't do shit. You all know that. You know that that paycheck be gone. Oh wait, let me tell you all about this too so you can know. I had moved into this vacant house that I was living in. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't really want to be out here working hard and slaving all the damn time just to pay to live on the earth. Someone has stolen the earth and I know that. Alright? So now let me tell you what happened. This freaking white guy come climbing in the window one day. Oh yeah, this is my uncle house and um, woo 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 and woo woo woo. So he got this little girl outside with him and I'm sitting here, I done heard this bullshit through the window while he's talking to her. Yeah, and I'm gonna fix this place up and I'll let you live here. He done lied to the girl and told her he gonna give her that place. And she done brought her ass up in the house with him, okay? It's two houses, one house, it was two of them together. The one, the apartment in the back, it didn't have no lights and no water, but it was decent. It had some mold in there, but it was, I stayed dry. I stayed in there for about four months, the whole winter froze my ass off all winter in this city full of you good Christians, okay, that all this shit, y'all always lie with your mission statement. You, we know what your mission statement is. I just read it in Deuteronomy. Because all that love thy neighbor shit, you ain't never did that. It's never been no love thy neighbor going on when I could show you World War One Germans against Russians, 
okay, Swedes against Finland's, all that. So you're not gonna come out here and try to cry that brotherly love bullshit that you've always tried to perpetuate as being your mission statement, but we never seen you guys doing anything but warring all the damn time. So I don't need that religion. Don't want it. Try my best to wake everybody up so we can fix this world. I'm trying to show you all how you're being deceived by these Europeans. Even Europeans are being deceived by this book themselves. A lot of white people know this is garbage. They know it's garbage. They don't want to have nothing to do with it, but they too damn smart to come out here and get on the opposing side of that because they're smart enough to know that, well, if I really need anything, I get it. And the thing about it is every charity organization that's a part of the equation of the earth is all around Catholicism. I mean, they take everything and they the ones created poverty and then open up the charity donation centers and pocket that money too. Now go figure. So they create the wars, they create reasons for abortion, they create reasons for drug use, they create the imprisoned system, they create poverty in general, they create illiteracy, okay? They create childhood teenage pregnancy because in Africa we considered our young people to be adults at 15 and 16 years old and they acted accordingly and were responsible for self is coming into this system with the Europeans where your children don't officially start school until they're five years old but in African cultures our children started school as soon as the detection of them were registered as a heartbeat we knew that they were so and that it was time to watch what you say and watch what you do because there's a small child inside listening that is going to be growing up and utilizing the information that it received as an infant in the mother's stomach even back then okay so the whole circumstance of our world being destroyed is because it has been orchestrated and designed by the powers that be to make fools and consumers out of everyone and slaves out of everyone on the planet regardless to what nationalism you have you are all victimized by this religious scam and it is the most destructive thing that is on the earth right now it is responsible for all of the wars and all the deprivation of the masses of the earth and that's to prove that to you I guarantee you you would never hear any politician say anything negative about the worship of Jesus Christ because they all know the value in that shit. They could go around the whole planet and find these big edifices everywhere that worship and supports the existence of this white God that no one ever sees but we all can feel, taste, and hear and um, see the devastation that it causes everywhere it goes. The whole emphasis of the slavery of 500 years of us melanated people was ordained by Jesus. So fuck Jesus. That's really the truth. I'm smart enough to see how you guys have used this to take advantage of all the resources on the planet. And I see that and I know that. And you all know it too. So the thing that's going to have to get done more than anything is that people are just going to be killed. That's really the truth about it. I'm going to be uh, seriously finding a way to get away from all these circumstances that I have saw and I know to be in effect. Everywhere you go, it's garbage. But the fact that I know that this state is going to be destroyed makes me know that, you know what, you got to get